attention like ladies and gents when I mention my name at the door. And I hope you'll pardon me, see by my card I am finding a world we may explore. You're in the dream I have drawn. You're like the wings for my song. I get a lift with your gift to know right from the wrong. Really strong. Our imagination will find this occasion to go where we know we belong. It was that time again. <gasps> Bedtime. But Harold didn't want to go to sleep. play with his toy animals. Sometimes he even wished he could be an animal. But which one? Hmm. Would it be more fun to hop like a kangaroo, roar like a lion, or slither like a snake? Harold decided there was only one way to find out. There were so many things an elephant could do with its trunk. Harold wished he had a trunk too. decided he was ready to try being another type of animal.
a camel. Camels could travel a long way through the desert without food or drink because they stored it all in a hump on their backs. Harold didn't have a hump like a camel. So he made himself ready for the trip as best he could. expected. Harold was still thirsty. So, he drew an oasis. Harold was deciding which animal to become next, when a pack of cheetahs went racing past. Harold thought it would be thrilling to run as fast as a cheetah. Harold realized he needed something to help him run faster. But he still wasn't going fast enough. So... wasn't quite clear who had won the race. But Harold had enjoyed himself just the same. The cheetahs were ready for a nap. Harold was tired too, but the last thing he wanted to do was sleep. Harold decided it was time to become a different sort of animal. Bye bye. Harold was still feeling warm from all of his running, so he decided to cool off in the snow. Harold knew exactly what kind of animal he wanted to be. A penguin! Penguins played in the snow all day long. 
But Harold didn't have shiny black and white feathers like the penguins to keep him warm. So... Harold did his best to be a penguin. It had been exciting sliding down the hill, but the ride had been very bumpy. Much as he'd enjoyed the ride, the life of a penguin was just too cold for Harold. Whatever animal Harold chose, he'd rather be an animal in a more tropical climate. Monkeys lived in the trees and swung around on branches. Harold was sure he'd enjoy doing that. But before he got his chance... to like Harold's winter clothes. <laughs>
had landed safely, but he wasn't so sure anymore that he wanted to be a monkey. Harold wasn't so sure he wanted to be any kind of animal. The monkeys were heading straight for the napping cheetahs. Harold was sure the cheetahs wouldn't enjoy being awakened. were falling fast. Harold had to think quickly. Remembering how the soft snow had cushioned his fall earlier, While snow was fine for penguins, it was much too cold for monkeys and cheetahs. The cheetahs were grateful to get back to their nap. But it was going to be a little harder to get the monkeys off his back. To understand on just two feet. Well, you've been so sweet, but I repeat, I'd rather be. Living the life of the animals had been quite an adventure. Harold was glad to be a human being, but he was sleepy and ready to go home.
Harold considered picking up his toys. But he'd had enough of animals for one night. Well, except for Lilac. Harold dropped off to sleep, and his purple crayon dropped to the floor.